There's the game footage you see. I have been incredibly careful. It's only from the first 40 minutes of the game, and I deliberately cut out what I perceive to be the spoilers. So it's just gameplay, no story spoilers, only the first 40 minutes. Uh, but the lead investigator is indeed Unky Dunky this morning, uh, this evening, I should say. So, Unky, over to you, mate. What are your thoughts on God of War Ragnarok? Oh, uh, well, mate, the fact that I got to play it at midnight on the day of launch uh, is is much better than what Bully's uh, going to go through, unfortunately. But um, <laughs> thank God I did, because this game, if ever there was a contender for Game of the Year to um, knock Elden Ring off its uh, high pedestal at the moment, it's probably this. And um, I, the initial impressions were just incredible, and the game has just gotten better and better since I've started playing. I'm probably maybe 10 hours in now, so I've got a fair chunk under my belt. Um, with plenty more to go, I've been doing all the side content as I go and I know if you rush the main story it can take you know, between 30 35 hours and up to sort of 65 70 hours to complete everything so at the moment I'm probably nowhere near finished and I've had a few cool story beats but there's a lot more to go and there's a lot more to unlock and I cannot believe this game looks this good I can't believe it came out this year like I, I was saying it was going to you were you were skeptical with the size of the world that was actually going to come out this year but it's it's hit and it's hit in a big way I was only well, just a fair, little Unky. bit skeptical. <laughs> I was to, to be fair, Unky, the way I'm going, I won't be playing it till next year, so we're probably <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how God's fault, not uh, Santa Monica's. <laughs> um, but no, just um, just continue. It, when you first start playing the game, it does feel a lot like. 2018's God of War, and I think for a very good reason. It's, it's it's a more cohesive, you know, one to two as opposed to like your Last of Us, which sort of changes your character essentially from the start of the game and you're playing completely sort of different game mechanics. From the start of this game, it does feel like a continuation from 2018, but not in a bad way. I think it's really easy to pick up the controller and start getting back into playing as Kratos, um, working out the moves. And I think if you did get sort of thrown with all your powers, you kind of not remember how to play the game because I don't know about you, Troy, I'm not sure where you're up to, but where I'm up to now, your man, like joints in your fingers are just going to struggle with the amount of things you can do on this bloody controller different like hot keys to hold before you do one other thing it's ridiculous like you need a memory like of an elephant just to remember everything you can actually do like the amount of times i forget during combat that i can actually do something um and <laughs> this is a button mashing and that's another one thing i always accidentally hit the r3 and l3 at the same time to trigger my that massive what well, I mean, the rage mode that he goes through which yep. is epic as it is it's annoying when you accidentally click it all the time because your hands are just too busy on the controller doing things and you, i know you're going to do the exact same thing because i've seen you play games i know you actually hit buttons all the time and if i'm doing this on the controller you definitely will be. uh but speaking of the controller like, god damn this game feels so good in the controller like i've never felt a game feel this good just that initial throw of the leviathan axe and the chains of chaos but even just something simple like rowing on your boat it's not really a spoiler you did did it the first game but the controller as you sort of push the the oar through left or right side of the um the boat you feel it in the left and right hand control and it feels like you're literally oh, pushing wow. through water it's really just sort of these fine details that they go through and it's just it just sort of enhances the whole experience and gameplay experience feeling that leviathan x come thudding back into your hand the controller just feels like you are actually holding that it's just incredible and something we didn't really have with the ps sort of four version of the game yeah we had sort of vibration but that haptic feedback stuff is just absolutely incredible yeah absolutely man i second that entirely i'm blown away by the dual sense on it yeah, absolutely. And, and this just feeds into the gameplay. And, and with the gameplay and the combat encounters now, like they've increased the sort of amount of enemies you fight at any given time. The enemies sort of all vary a lot more than they did in the first game. Um, there's a lot more sort of, you know, more open arenas to fight in. And sort of Kratos now with his Blades of Chaos from the start of the game has these maneuverabilities where, you know, you can use Circle to sort of zip up higher and get the high ground or you can leap off and hold R1 and he'll do a ground pound attack or you can use your Chains of Chaos to bring them towards you. And it's just... It's, and you can, I think there's logs and stuff and there's like rocks on the ground you can actually fling during combat as well. Um, it's just, they just added a lot more to it. It's stuff that you wouldn't even think they could add to this game to make the combat even more visceral than it already was. But just the additivity of just having, you know, those tools at your disposal from the start, the, the Blades of Chaos and the, and the Axe and already having most of the abilities from the first game, I think you, 
and the stuff have already been expanded upon that even further. I'm just, I still don't know where this game's going to go in terms of its mechanics, but I know it's got more to go because I can see the unlock trees and I can see there's space for sort of maybe even more weapons there. I don't know, but I'm looking, I'm looking how they've spaced those things out. I'm thinking you're going to get something else at some point. I, you know, it's not a spoiler to say Thor's in the game because obviously he's been in all the marketing for it. So what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking Troy may uh, get to throw that hammer down once and for all. Um, I'm not, I'm not speculating. I don't know anything. I, this is not a spoiler because I'm literally at that nowhere near that point of the game. But I would be widely speculating that we get may get to use uh, Mjolnir at some point in this game. They'd be mad not to do that, Troy. Bring the hammer down! Oh, I uh, can't wait to get my hands on that and feel it in the dual sense. Oh, mate, I cannot wait. I think I think they will do it, and when it happens, it's going to be amazing. Even though I think it's coming, but um, just even the smaller things like the Mamir conversations we used to have in the first game, where you know you'd be on the boat and you'd just be telling tall tales, and you know you might go do some gameplay, you sit back on the boat, and he starts telling the same story. Oh, where were we up to? And he keeps going. All that stuff's yeah. there, still, but to a greater extent, they always seem to be talking. There's all these like witty com- like comments going on. Like I've laughed and chuckled on a number of occasions, um, just at certain things. Like even just a small conversation about um, Atreus saying his beard's coming in and <laughs> them talking about his <laughs> sand on his face and he's like, no, it's really coming in. Just stuff like that. And, and even just, it, I had to laugh at this because I'm one of those people that will always go off the beaten path to try and find you know, you know collectibles and chests and stuff when you sort of walk around with another character and he's always, he's like um, say stuff like, oh, he's just he's like a trailer. So he's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Um, <laughs> just certain things like that and then oh, I just can't speak more highly of this game. I know I'm glowing and I know I'm only 10 hours in, but it's just, it's doing all the right things that I wanted in a sequel to God of War and then sort of even not so much met those expectations, but exceeding them. So now I'm very happy with what I've played so far and I can't wait to keep going and see where this story goes. Yeah, man, it's amazing. As I said, I'm only 40 minutes in, but it was seriously that first 40 minutes. It honestly, to me, felt like an awesome TV show episode. It was perfect. But tip of the cap to Sony Santa Monica. They've got the, uh, from the main menu, there's an option to um, play the recap of the game one. It only runs, I don't know, one or one and a half minutes or something. But it's the perfect thing because I haven't touched that game in a long time. So to come back, watch that minute and a half, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it it just caught me up perfectly. And then bang, as you said, Unky, straight into episode, well, sorry, straight into the second game, picks it up seamlessly. It's fantastic. But I've got to say, in the first 40 minutes of gameplay, there were, I've cut them out here so no spoilers but there were two independent moments that brought me to tears it was i haven't been crying in the first 10 minutes of a game like um it's the last, last of us the last was part one but they got me at the 20 minute mark at the 20 minute mark they got me these guys cut it in half 10 minutes in there were tears rolling down my cheek it's so emotionally impactful and now i'm the big caveat i think to that is that I'm a father and I've got two sons and this is very much a father and son story. So for me, it's, and I was surprised that Corey, uh, what's his name? Corey. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Borlog, Bartlog, what the, the, oh, the game yeah. director. Oh, Corey, Corey Bartlog. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, sorry, man. I had to break up. I missed it. Um, it was, he, I didn't think he was associated with this game. Like I knew he did the first one, but I thought someone else was taking over. Yeah, so he wasn't lead director in this one. He just wasn't lead director. Oh, but he was creative director, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which blew me away. I don't know why I thought he was off on another project. I didn't realize he was involved in this one. But that guy, well, I'm giving him all the credit here and my apologies to the rest of the team if it was somebody else. But if you are a father with a son and you play this game, the emotional resonance, as I said, brought me to tears on two occasions in the first 40 minutes. But not only that, and this is where video games win. They are the best medium ever created for any storytelling. This game in the first 40 minutes has after it, you know, I've walked away, I've calmed down, it's been a few hours now, but it has made me stop and consider the way I am as a father to my boys and the game's inspiring me to be a better father to my own kids. There's no film, there's no TV show, there's no book that's ever inspired me in such a way, the way that the video game medium and specifically God of War Ragnarok, this game, it's a 10 out of 10 in the first 40 minutes and everyone knows how hot 
I was on Elden Ring. I said the playing that, I knew instantly it was game of the year and I didn't think anything could dethrone it. But my God, God of War Ragnarok is giving it a run for its money. I swear this game is something special. This game is going to go down in history. I'm only 40 minutes in. Hearing, I had no idea, Anki, that you were saying it was, what, 50 or 60 hours or something like I cannot yeah. imagine the journey I'm in for, but I am hook, line, and sinker. I cannot wait to play this game. If you're a father out there and you've got a PlayStation, do yourself a favour and just don't look at anything. Don't read it. Just go buy the game and play it immediately. My God, this game is just so fantastic. I love it. Bully, any thoughts from you, my friend? Stick it up your backside, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll jump in and just um just sort of second you on that whole like father stuff. Like there's some moments that start of the game where it really is just that father son moment. And having played even through the next ten hours of the game, I can tell you there's just constant moments of father son stuff where it's just him parenting and sort of him sort of realizing that Atreus is getting older. And they sort of deal with it really well in certain comments. Like I've written one down, say of it, um, that Atreus says to to kratos he's like i might be better than you one day and then kratos just responds if you're not then i have failed but so they have that quick oh. moment if they, yeah, so they have that but then mimir just goes like to just take the sort of the emotional side of it, just oh <laughs> but just it's the real play with it all, like real sort of emotional stuff but then they have these moments of brevity as well where they, where they lighten the mood as well and i think they they do it perfectly like throughout the whole game so far these 10 hours of like equally sort of you know it has shed a tear or sort of felt sort of something emotional and then just been laughing the next moment just with these funny characters and the way they sort of just know how to balance it out perfectly within the story and have it hit all at the right moments like i, I can't say too much to be more for a spoiler discussion later in relation to sort of moments like that that happen throughout the game but goddamn, i can't wait to talk about this game in depth with uh once we've all finished it and once bully even starts playing it so either can i mate and to that point i've got a pitch for you i think they need to do you remember i can't remember i want to say it was a borderlands developer and it might have been from a borderlands too i want to say it was like a comic-con panel or something he got in hot water by suggesting there was girlfriend mode making it easy I want somebody, Sony Santa Monica, I'm looking at you, conceive of a grandfather mode. You need to make a mode, and I can't even work out what it would be, but I want my dad to play this game. My dad has zero interest in playing video games. But the, as I said, that first 40 minutes, and my God, like I want my dad to be able to have some sort of experience with this game so then he and I can discuss it like this game is just so next level. I can't believe it. Anki, what do you think? Grandfather mode? Is there, is there a way they could pull it off? They probably could. I mean, they do have story mode or similar in this. It could be up there because I know Spider-Man and stuff did stuff where you can't even die in the game. I'm not sure if that this goes that level, but they do have a lot of accessibility options in this, which is a laundry list. Like, it's up there. It's ever since Last of Us Part Two sort of won awards for its accessibility, I think a lot of these Sony first-party games have been leaning very heavily on the accessibility, which is a great thing to see. And I utilize some of it all the time. Like, my favorite I've already mentioned on, especially using it, Last of Us Part One remaster or remake was the um, auto pickup of items. Cannot live without oh, it. Oh, how good is that in God of War Ragnarok? Oh, yes. Yeah, things you have to pick up in this game and I just never have to hit a button for it. It's just perfect. Like, put that in every game. <laughs> I've spoken about it at length for other games. It's one of the best features in accessibility going around. I don't even think it should be an accessibility option. They should just give it to you off the bat now. Please. Um, <laughs> and also with um, options, the graphics options, you've got like your 4K 30 um, and you've got your um, 60 frames per second variable refresh rate up to 4K. Um, yeah. But you've also got a, a little mode that you can hit as well that will try and increase your frame rate depending on your TV as well, so oh. I've got I've got that flicked, and I'm running pretty much God of War at a flat 80 frames per second, which is just silky smooth. Um, and then if you bump up the graphics to the 4K native, then I'm getting probably 45 ish, sort of, so slightly higher than your 30, but um, definitely not worth losing those 80 frames per second for a slight bit of a uh, graphical fidelity. Not not a chance with a game like this. <laughs> and uh, if I could just turn in for one second on the accessibility options, as you said, mate. They, I think I read somewhere that there was 40 individual line items in the accessibility right. menu. Uh, and what I was just to bang on the point a bit more, the grandfather mode, what I'm saying is 
I don't want to have to read a list of 40 things on the internet. Like, we're starting to get into the territory of PC gaming and why I hate it. The thing I love about console gaming is just turn it on and go. And this is what I'm saying about a grandfather mode. I want them to work out what the positions of those 40 sliders should be and then just give me, you know, like a preset at the top. Let me hit grandfather mode, have yep. one of their UI experts go through and custom tweak all those 40 things and then let me hit grandfather mode, switch all those 40 accessibility options to whatever makes sense for, you know, a grandfather uh, to play. So I can just hit the one button, grandfather mode, hand him the controller and you know, let him go at it. My God, it would be amazing. Uh, so I love the accessibility options, but I think they just need to start considering maybe a few preset type options where we don't have to go diving through it. No, nah, not a bad idea. I do appreciate that none of the accessibility options hinder any trophies and stuff like that. So if you want auto-complete oh, puzzle yeah. kind of stuff, you can do You're not going to be hindered for it. Um, you can put navigation yeah. stuff on to show you where you need to go next, which sort of takes off some of the joy of uh, exploring in these games because it's one of those perfect things I like to do in games. Like, you need to go this way. <laughs> I'm not going that way because I know there's going to be a chest this way. And just that sort of – I just yeah. love that kind of exploring games. And it's you're always pretty much – every time rewarded in God of War for going the different way, be it with some more story um, or, you know, items to collect or both at the same time. So it's been very good with its side quests as well. I've done a couple of side quests now, which for any other game would be, you know, one of its main story pieces and like the amount of story and action and stuff you're seeing on screen at any given time is just ridiculous for a side quest and you don't even need to do them. Like you can, you can apparently wait to end game to do them all if you want. But as I said, I'm trying to, you know, play through it all and get all the gear because that's where all the good gear is in those side quests. So I want to go upgrade my Kratos uh, to be the best Kratos he can be so I can get through the game. And, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to do it. It's going to be amazing. Just two final points from me and then I'm done. Um, the first one is I can't believe Sony charged $15 for the PS5 upgrade. Where does Jim Cryan get off? Nickel and diamond me. Gosh darn it. I, that should be a free upgrade. No question. Uh, and this is the final point for me. And this is two negative points. But I've got to say, this game is 10 out of 10. Don't let these dissuade you. But they need to be stared. The other one is their day one patch took God of War Ragnarok to version 2. Total insanity, boys. I'm looking for a sanity check. Am I crazy? This is the only game that's ever done it. Like, your day one patch is normally, you know, 1.01, you know, version 1 on yeah. the disc and then day one patch is version 1.01. Am I just ridiculous for being outraged that their day one patch made it version 2? Well, they did put up 160 uh, changes, so maybe they considered uh, so much compared to all the people that would have got pre-release, like reviewers and stuff, to be like, no, this is a substantial patch, and they did implore everyone to make sure they downloaded that patch before playing this game. So, you know what, if they want to call it that, why not? All right, then, I'll uh, stand down, <laughs> shall I, on that point. Uh, but that's it from me. Anki, any final thoughts from you before we move on? No, nah, it's just another one, one quick one about the combat and just the attention to detail they've got because I've been watching some of your fighting here and stuff. I've found the companions are so good at calling out positions of enemies that you don't even have to worry about it. Like, if, yes, you've got 3D audio, which is helping you anyway, but like Atreus and stuff were yelling out, like, enemy behind you, enemy to the left, and every time there's an enemy there. So it's just just this attention to detail is what makes the combat feel so visceral and so next-gen compared to so many other games out there. But no, nah, this game, just bind everyone. Indeed. And sorry, Bully, I'll just give you one more chance for any final thoughts. <laughs> well, I'm just interested in these accessibility options. So I'm just wondering, you talked about the grandfather mode. Is there a Amazon delivered on time accessibility mode? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, there isn't, mate. And <laughs> there's no helping you on that one. Find a new down. game supplier. <laughs> Bully is <laughs> crying. <laughs> Fully, All right. Me, me and Jim can just go around the corner and wipe each other's eyes. Oh, I think you should. <laughs> if you get lucky, mate, he might dry your eyes with a couple of hundred dollar bills on his way. Oh, that was luck. Hey, hey, that's something. I love everything about it. Ooh. <laughs> Where's Flash? Old Uncle Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>